Hi and welcome back. In this series we'll be talking about Python errors. What they are, how they happen, and of course, how to fix them. In this video specifically, we'll talk about the attribute error, which is a very popular one, but understanding it can sometimes be a little confusing. In order to really understand what the attribute error means, we need to go back to Python basics and look at one of the most important characters in the language. The period or the dot. Let's begin with an example. Let's say we've got a greeting string that says, hello, my name is something like this. Format Bob. Here we've got a sample string. And if you're not aware of what the format does, this essentially is going to end up as hello, comma, my name is Bob. That's what this whole thing is going to evaluate to. And what's happening here is the way we'd read this or understand this in Python would be we've got this string, hello, comma, my name is curly braces. We're going to access inside of that string the format thing. And that format thing, we can see it's a function because it has the brackets or the parentheses at the end. These brackets in Python always mean that whatever precedes them is a function. So we're accessing the format function that lives inside of our string. That's what this dot means. And to that format function, we are giving it this Bob string inside the brackets. That means that this function is going to take this and do something with it. And because this is running inside the string, well, it can change that string. And essentially, that's what it's going to do. It's going to put Bob inside the string. And the way format works is it's replacing the curly braces, the pair of curly braces here, by whatever is inside the brackets. But really, the key thing is the dot, which means inside. So the format is inside the string. And that is really the key for the attribute error. If we print our greeting, this will work. I'm just going to run the file here using PyCharm. You can see down here, you can't see it very well, but it says, hello, my name is Bob. But we can cause an attribute error very easily by, instead of format, doing something else, something like FMT. Now, PyCharm is already quite smart, and it highlights it in yellow, and, and it'll tell you unresolved attribute reference FMT for class STR. Basically, what that means is you are trying to use SM FMT, but it's not inside the string. That's what the dot means, remember? We have to access things that are inside the string, and FMT is not inside the string. So if we run this again, here we have the attribute error. So once again, attribute error, it tells you the line in which the attribute error happens. And then it tells you that the str object, that's our string here, has no attribute FMT. So we've tried to access something, an attribute of the string, but it tells us that there is no such attribute. That's because the string contains something called format, but it doesn't contain something called FMT. So as you develop your Python programs, especially when you're creating your own classes and objects, if you do encounter an attribute error, make sure to check your classes for the correct functions and variables being defined inside them. And if you're using something like a string or you know something that comes with the Python language and you get an attribute error, just double check the official documentation to make sure that what you're trying to do is actually something that exists. Because sometimes if we try to do something like this, that will give us an attribute error because it's actually wrong Python. This doesn't exist. This is not part of the strings that come with Python, so we can't use it. But if we go back to format, of course, PyCharm already suggests format because it knows it's in there. That'll work because it's in there. Of course, as you type in PyCharm, for example, if we start with F, you'll automatically get a bunch of suggestions. And here on the right, you can see str. And that is essentially the string. So it tells us that all of these things here are inside the string. You can use any of them, and you won't get an attribute error. You may get a different type of error, but not an attribute error because they do exist. It's only if you make something up that doesn't exist that you will get an attribute error. The same thing goes 
for, of course, your own classes and so on. So I hope this was helpful and you understand a bit more about the attribute error, when it happens and how to fix it. So that's it from me and I'll see you on the next one.